Now, there's been a, a lot of craze over vegan and plant-based diets in recent yeah. years, right? Now, the Game Changers yeah. documentary came out and Arnold was also promoting that lifestyle. Yeah. Uh, when you saw this, I don't know if you saw the documentary, but when you heard about yeah, a documentary and when you saw it, uh, what, what I did talked you? about that as well. I know you did. <laughs> I, I want to ask. Well, I, I watched the movie and I just think it's it's all it's all gimmickry. It's all something to that this vegan market is is making money on. There's nothing against. I'm not I'm not against a vegan using vegan diets, but for example, I want to say there is no way to get say for example omega three. It's ALA, EPA, DHA. When you follow a, a, a vegan diet, you only get ALA, which, is in, which then also can convert to DHA, because I'll get a vegan saying it converts to DHA and EPA, but not enough that you could get from fish. So Those are the vitamins you need? EP, it, it's the essential fatty acids. So omega-3 is an essential fatty acid that you cannot get from just vegan diet. You, you won't be able to get the, the, the proper doses of EPA and DHA from a vegan diet using omega-3 because you're only going to get ALA and very little of the other ones. So they, you think fish, they're, they're lacking the vitamins? They're lacking, the those, those, they're lacking those essential fats. They're not vitamins, but essential fats that you can't get. And, and if you ever look at a vegan, they, they don't look as healthy, you know, like a real true vegetarian. That's my, you know, my opinion. Do I think vegan diet is good to, to, to eat like vegan diet? and mixture of you know, meats and fishes, yes. Man is an omnivore. Man was meant to eat vegetables, vegetables, fish. That's a uh, debate, what was meant supposed to, because I hear a lot of vegans say that you know, we were never supposed to be eating meat. We were supposed to be only eating vegetables or. We were hunters and gat. If you want to go either, either want to go by the Bible or you want to, you know, I, I made a point about talking about the Bible. If you don't believe in the Bible, you know, but God said in the Bible, you know, here's the garden of eating. Everything here that walks or is grown, you can eat. Or you look at history of hunters and gatherers and cavemen. Why were they there hunting with sticks, you know, killing woolly mammoths? And, you know, they were eating those animals. They were eating those animals. They weren't just picking, you know, uh, grub off the ground. Man was not, man is a survivor. And why we have, first of all, because of our brains. But man also has the ability to eat anything. We can eat vegetables, we can eat meats, we can eat bugs, we can eat anything. Where if you look at a carnivore, like a, a lion or a tiger, they, can, they only can survive on meat. Men can survive on anything. So we're meant to eat everything. Now anything in excessive amounts, a lot of meats, is no good for you. Anything in excess is not good for you. So I always believe in a balanced diet. I think the problem is over the years, the food became so processed. So a lot yes. of the meats we get in the stores, they just, there's so much stuff in it that they became unhealthy. Like I think that's what became a, a real problem. If you're eating meat that's like grass fed, healthy, you know, lack, lack of hormones, you're right. So if you're eating meat off the shelf that you're getting, like that has a lot of hormones in it because it, it's mass produced, it's not as healthy. So, but if you're eating like grass fed beef, you know, uh, free range chickens, it's healthier. Now it's harder to It's hard to way. identify what's really, because the thing is like, you know, I've seen this documentary and it was about just breaking down what's cage free mean and like, what does that really mean? Because what you're talking about when they were hunting back in the day, they were hunting like just organic animals like yes. in the woods or whatever, right? Like, they were eating everything. Eating everything. Now yeah. it's like, it's mass produced, like you said. So you don't know what's what they A chicken is, if you're not, if a chicken's in a, you know, when you're talking about cage free, that means a chicken can eat anything on the ground, worms, food. When you have a, a chicken that's just for mass production. And it's stuck in this cage. It's like stuck in a cage and yeah. they feed it one food. The meat is really not as healthy. Same thing with beef. They do the same thing. They stick it in, a, in this little thing and they just feed it. And, you know, this, this, not even a grain, but this artificial food that they feed this thing. And then we eat that. So no, it's not healthy. So then there's a reason why now vegan diets are growing because it is, it is better. But then a lot of vegan foods are not even as healthy because if you go and eat like this artificial- Beyond, from beyond King, meat, right, beyond meat. It's beyond cool. meat has fat in it. It's like tons of fat right. in it. I heard about that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's still processed. So how healthy is that? So I feel there's nothing wrong with eating a pea and um, rice blend protein by all means you know, have that, but also try to, you know, have meats. Should you go totally vegan? That's where I kind of say, I don't know about that, you know. But I hear a lot of stories. People say, well, I quit eating meat 
and I feel much better. Like I feel just more energy, lighter. Do you think it's just because like it just uh, it's, a, it's a drastic switch, and they feel like it feel I, a change, or because what? I think it's a drastic switch, but I think that I mean, have they have they done it long enough that now they're starting to? Because then I've seen people that have done vegan diets to say, I don't feel as good. I feel I'm not as strong. You know, I got lighter, but you know, I don't. I'm still. I don't feel as good. A lot of vegans convert back to eating That's what meat I'm saying. Like after a year. That yeah. happens a lot. Why do they a convert? Lot. Because, because they're they don't feel as right? good. And they're lacking things in their diet that you get only from meats. I totally agree, and I'm going to get probably a lot of flack here saying, you know, about vegan, because there's a lot. Now, this is a movement. It's a movement. And, uh, but like I said, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not against it. But I think, you know, if you can eat healthy foods and nothing in excess, that's the problem. I just think anything in excess doesn't work. I'm not really, uh, you know, a carnivore diet. I don't believe in a carnivore diet. Um, keto diet. I, I don't believe in a keto diet. You know, you can follow for a short period of time, but I always believed in a balanced diet, getting a combination of vegetables, getting a combination of fruit. When I dieted for shows, I was eating fruit, I was eating vegetables, I was eating whole grains, and I was eating proteins.